There are way too many turmeric and curcumin supplements to sift through when shopping. There are so many variations and complex formulas touting their supremacy to the rest. How do you know what's truly great and which ones are just marketing marvels? Well, as you might have guessed, I'm going to tell you what to look for and my personal choice for the top curcumin supplement as of 2020 that you can buy. Maybe you've already been taking one that's worked well for you, and that's great, but it's always fun to upgrade. I really believe I have something even more effective and definitely worth the try. So let's get started. Some of this preliminary information you probably already know, but I'll go over it just in case someone's brand new to supplements. Curcumin is a compound extracted from the rhizomes of the curcuma longa plant, otherwise known as turmeric. It's one of the ingredients used in Ayurvedic medicine for centuries and is well studied for its natural anti-inflammatory and antioxidant effects. Numerous clinical studies have shown its great benefits for immune boosting, blood sugar stabilization, liver detoxification, central nervous system function, and antivirus properties. When it comes to Eastern medicine and natural medicine, it's normally one of the top choices for cancer and Alzheimer's disease treatment. When I hear people in the health community talking about turmeric, they usually just stop at curcumin. Like many supplements, we tend to go as far as just singling out one extract. But I like to dig deeper so that I'm absolutely sure I'm getting the best product available on the market, like I did with my video on Boswellia. So check that one out if you haven't seen it yet. When you dig deeper into turmeric, you'll find that there are curcuminoids, meaning more than one. There are actually two other curcuminoids that rarely get talked about. And on top of that, there's potent metabolites of curcumin called tetrahydrocurcuminoids. And I'll go over these in just a bit. What we usually hear about is bioperine or black pepper. And you'll see these words and phrases like bio-enhancement or increases nutrient absorption. And while there's a little bit of truth to that, there are adverse effects that can occur. Black pepper can damage the GI lining and stomach by destroying gastric cells in the mucous membranes. This could result in acid reflux, nausea, constipation, and loss of potassium. It could also cause allergic reactions like rashes, hives, or swelling of the mouth and tongue. And if you take any medications like chemotherapeutics or heart-related drugs, you should avoid bioperine altogether as its effect on the liver detoxifying enzymes can change the potency of these drugs. So why mess around with that when there are better options? So let's just get into my pick for the best curcumin supplement on the market today. Sabinsa's curcumin C3 complex is a mixture of curcuminoids that includes curcumin, D-methoxycurcumin, and bis-D-methoxycurcumin. Curcumin is standardized to 70 to 80 percent. The D-methoxycurcumin is 15 to 25 percent, and bis-D-methoxycurcumin at 2.5 to 6.5 percent. You want to see all of these in your supplement. The curcumin is more stable with the other two compounds. They protect the curcumin to a greater degree from oxidative stress and make the product more soluble for better absorption in the gastrointestinal tract. There is also a product called C3 Reduct, which are tetrahydrocurcuminoids. And these are major metabolites of curcuminoids, obtained by hydronating the curcuminoids of turmeric. These are more bioavailable because of the enzymatic conversion already being done. Normally your digestive system would have to do this on straight curcumin and you'd lose most, if not all, of the metabolites in the conversion process. Tetrahydrocurcuminoids are the desired end result, and we're just skipping right to that end with the C3 Reduct. Compared to normal curcumin, they provide better antioxidant activity as well with stronger and longer activity being shown in the studies. Tetrahydrocurcumin is the most effective free radical scavenging curcuminoid. It also demonstrates powerful cardioprotective properties. I'm talking about alleviated hypertension, reversed effects of aortic wall thickness and stiffness, and oxidative stress. Another study found it increased the total number of insulin binding sites, which leads to an increase in plasma insulin. 
All these effects were superior to curcumin in the same studies. Neither of the C3 products are genetically modified or contain any allergens. I will leave links to the best C3 complex. It is shown to be the only curcumin formula that produces the potent metabolite tetrahydrocurcumin. And a link for the C3 Reduct if you'd like to just skip right to that. Either way you go, you'll be taking something far superior to all the other supplements available out there. So thank you for watching. I truly hope this was a help to you. And if it was, please share it to others that you feel would benefit from this information. Click a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Stay healthy, everyone.